Configuring Windows 2012 R2 Web Application Proxy to Publish Link 2013. Good morning and welcome to this webcast. My name is Crystal and I'll be the English doubler of this webcast made by Fabrizio Volpe, Microsoft MVP on Directory Services. Web Application Proxy is a new feature in Windows Server 2012 R2. It is part of the Remote Access Role Service in and provides reverse proxy functionality to publish web applications inside the corporate network and make them available to users outside our internal deployment. Link 2013 requires a reverse proxy to publish resources that are deployed on the front end, including dial-in and meet pages. For more details, please read my post, Understanding Simple URLs and Link. Web Application Proxy, from now on WAPX, can replace existing solutions for reverse proxying link like UAG and TMG. An important limit of WAPX is that it requires a working Active Directory Federation Services, ADFS, server inside our network. It is a pre-requirement and the configuration of WAPX will not accomplish if the connection with ADFS is not running in the right manner. During this webcast, I will show how to configure ADFS server, the WAPX server, and how to set publishing rules for Link 2013. A short explanation of the outline of the test lab. The test deployment is made by a domain controller, Aphrodite, and a certification authority, Art Artemis, and the and Link 2013 SE front end, Apollo. The internal domain name is Link 2013, DOM. We will configure the ADFS server, Elios, and the WAPX server, Hephaestus, during this webcast. Configuring the ADFS server. The configuration of ADFS and WAPX requires a digital certificate for SSL. The certificate can be the same, created on ADFS and then exported to the server WAPX. Or you can create a certificate on ADFS, containing the FQDN of the server as common name. And a second certificate, type wildcard or asterisk, for the web application proxy. We will use the second solution. The type of certificate that I used on ADFS computer does not have an exportable private key. I have used the certificate Snap-in on Elios to require a certificate of the computer type and the utility from DigiCert to require the asterisk certificate. We have to create a domain server. In our scenario, link 2013 backslash services ADFS that will be used as a service user for ADFS and for the WAPX. This user is a local administrator. During the configuration, we have installed the web server IIS role and then the Federation server role on Ilios. The installation does not require special attention. At the end of this phase, we will be prompted to configure the role. The error associated with the SPN always occurs, but does not affect our configuration. 
Configuring the WAPX server. Installing the Web Application Proxy feature requires the Remote Access role. Selecting the Web Application Proxy feature. The Configuration Wizard will require the name of the Federation service. In our scenario, the FQDN of the ADFS server, and the service account to use. As in the previous step, we will use link 2013 backslash services ADFS. Note, the procedure is often subject to errors, whose diagnosis requires also to read the log of both servers. In case of problems, I suggest to use the PowerShell commandlets that provide a first diagnostic screen. Configuring Publishing Rules for Link 2013 Once the configuration is complete, we can use the Publish op option. Task pane. For Link, the rules require that the public name is redirected to the front-end server on port 4443 in a standard configuration. Mark Turblanc has published a good post that includes a sample publishing script.